Hi, my name is Mr. Tribley, and I am one of the band directors here at Warren. All right, where did you graduate from, and what did you study? I graduated, well, I graduated high school from Lake Zurich High School, and I graduated um, from the University of Illinois in uh, 2007 with an undergrad in um, a bachelor's in music education, and then in 2010 with a master's in saxophone performance. When did you decide you wanted to be a teacher? Uh, I decided I wanted to be a teacher sophomore year of high school. Um, I really enjoyed uh, just my time in the band program, but more importantly, I always enjoyed helping people. And I think I realized that I could do something with uh, teaching music and, um, and, and having teaching be the outlet for uh, helping people. Did any other career paths cross your mind? Uh, yeah, we had to do a project, uh, I think my sophomore year also, um, was probably why I started thinking about it, on career paths, and um, I did, I had to choose two. So I did music and I did uh, marketing. Um, and I, I, it, I don't know, it just never really caught on. And some of the best advice I think I got was, you know you wanna be a, a, a music teacher, you wanna, you, if you wanna go into music, um, there has to be nothing else that you also want to do because <laughs> uh, you probably won't make it because it's just uh, it's a tough career in terms of um, competitiveness and that kind of thing. So, Where did you start teaching? Were you always at Warren? Uh, no, I actually started at Vernon Hills High School. I taught at Vernon Hills uh, for three years. I did, I was sort of part-time, full-time. So um, I, I was part-time in terms of my classes, but I was kind of there all the time. And then uh, this job opened up, so. So you teach the jazz class. Yes. Would you say jazz is your favorite class to teach, like your favorite style of music? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say that I, mean, I teach, so I teach three three jazz bands, and then I have uh, special ed music, and then concert band slash marching band. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's the bulk of my day, it's three fifths of the day right now. Um, I, mean, I love the jazz, jazz music is definitely, has always been one of my favorite, favorite idioms. Um, jazz is one of the things that got me kind of you know, our band program at Lake Zurich had a jazz program and that was kind of a big thing for me to participate in. Um, I enjoy getting to share that with students. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's probably my, my favorite in terms of uh, music to teach and class to teach, but I wouldn't say that it's, you know, I don't like teaching the other classes. It's just kind of, um, it's there's so all, every, every class I teach is so different that um, they're all kind of uh, good parts of my day, but yeah. Do you play in a band, like outside of school? Uh, yes, I play in a concert band, actually. Um, that meets at Libertyville High School. It's called the North North Suburban Wind Ensemble. Um, and I play uh, principal alto saxophone in that. And that's been for the last six years, seven years? Yeah, seven years. What are your plans for the future, whether it be for the program or your career itself? Mm. Um, I don't know. I kind of take it one day at a time. I never really think that far ahead. Um, you know, we've got a transition here with Mr. Jenkins retiring um, and uh, hopefully getting a new person in here for that. So that'll be um, exciting. And then from there, I mean, I think I'm always kind of looking to create the best environment for students to learn music. So wherever that leads me, if that uh, continues to be here, that'd be great. I really like Warren. Um, and if it is elsewhere for whatever reason, that's fine too. But I never really, uh, I guess I'm not someone that always has like everything planned out in terms of future plans. I've always found that kind of like live life and see what happens in terms of, you know, you kind of control what you can control. But um, I think in this profession, one thing I've learned is that there's really like right, right, right when you think you have everything figured out, you probably don't. So with Mr. Jenkins retiring, do you think you'll get more responsibilities? Um, likely. I mean, we've we've been kind of I've been taking on more and more, I think, over the last few years anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully with that new person in here, they'll be able to take up some of that um, as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, probably in terms of the direction of the program and Mr. Gross and I will, you know, try to kind of come up with uh, what's best for things going forward and then kind of learn to work with a new person on um, ways we can kind of divide everything like we have been already, so. Okay, right. So tell me a little about when you lived in Japan. How long you were there? Did yeah. you enjoy it? Um, so I lived in Japan. I was born there and I lived there for 14 years. We moved back uh, in August uh, before my freshman year of high school. So uh, we were there for a very long time. We were in Tokyo for 12 years and Kobe, Japan for two. Uh, Tokyo is obviously the capital. Um, Kobe is where there was a giant earthquake. Uh, 
I wasn't there for the earthquake, but that's if you've heard of like the, the 95 earthquake, um, that's where that was. We moved there two years after the earthquake. Um, and yeah, how long I was there, let's see here, what else? Uh, we lived on a man-made island when we were in Kobe, it's kind of fun, um, called Roko Island, and I went to a Canadian school there. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't know. And then yeah. when you moved here, did you come right to this area or? Uh, yeah, so we moved to Lake Zurich, totally random. My parents, again, this is where maybe I get the whole thing about not playing in the future. My parents, they've been, they, they both grew up uh, in New York state. And so um, been in, they'd been in Japan for 18 years. So they didn't really have any connections you know, other than family. Um, and so their friends said the Midwest was a nice place to live. Like the butterfly effect here is funny that, that their friend said that they said all right well you know my dad will uh, apply for jobs in uh madison wisconsin and chicago and just see what happens so he got a job at motorola in schaumburg and so then that was cool so all right we're gonna move to chicago somewhere you know we'll figure out where we're gonna live he had two extra days um so he went house hunting and sent my mom some pictures and uh, they bought a house in lake zurich like while he was there so like, it all happened in a week so then we moved to Lake Zurich. Um, I almost quit band uh, when I was in Japan, and then I ended up sticking with it. And then the band director at Lake Zurich became a really big mentor of mine, and that's how I got into teaching. So um, I met my wife at U of I, like in music education. So like it's kind of funny that like those like quick snap decisions of like oh we're gonna move back to share the Midwest, and my dad getting different jobs um, or the job that he got uh, kind of led to like a lot of my life paths. <laughs> Alright, here we go, ready? <laughs> yeah. You gotta pull pretty hard on it, you gotta pull pretty hard. Yeah! yeah! <laughs>